Today is May 20th, and Ben and I actually just returned home from Arizona. Um, we had a family emergency. My father-in-law has been battling bladder cancer. So we all went running down to Arizona to say our goodbyes to a wonderful man. Anyways, we are home and I have six babies that are ready to go out to their new homes. And I'm gonna kind of go through these. I have two girls and I have four boys. And this is a lovely little litter. This little female right here has a very black face. And amazingly that these six babies come two, two, and two. So there's two blondies, one girl, one boy. I believe that's right. Isn't that what I checked earlier? To, or is the two blondies? Oh, no, the two blondies are the boys. Okay, so one's a pinto blondie and one's more of a traditional blondie. And they're just super sweet. Those come from one mama. And now those ones are... Their birthday is... 421. So April 21st. They're supposed to be ready June 2nd, but they are ready now. So we will let those go a little early here. And now I have these two and these two. So I've got one girl and boy. The girl is got the pinto stripes on it, and I'll pick her up in just a second. And the boy, her brother, is a traditional. Super black faces on those ones. And these two right here, um, one girl, one boy, they're the same age, same exact birth date. But look at the size difference here. Will you flip your foot by that light and make that light turn on a little bit? Thank you, babe. So if I pick up one of these and I put it by this one, we'll wait for it to open up here. They're the exact same age, same birth date, yet almost half the size difference. And one mom had two and the other mom had two. So sometimes I say, you know, if you have a mom that has six babies, her milk has to go, you know, through all the babies. And so there's less milk. But this, both of these two moms had two babies each. And, you know, I've got really <laughs> healthy size, which I'll say full size grown, <laughs> plus size, a boy and a girl. So... Uh, healthy eaters. And then we have these little two perfect little, I'll pass the phone over to you, babe. Sure. And um, let's do that. So I'm going to start with this little one right here because I just kind of spooked it and woke it up. Let's see if this one's a girl or a boy. But uh, four of these babies have really dark faces. And then, look at, I don't even know if you can catch how black this face is. How about if I go this way and you come at me here? There we go. That's a good light. Whoops. Oh, I gotcha. There. Hi there. Hi. I'm oh, spooked right now. It's okay. But very come dark face. On. Come on, baby. Okay, so let me show if this one's a boy or a girl. It didn't even move quick. But it just got poked just the right way that made me. This one's a little boy. So. Hi there. There, see? Yeah, come on out. Show your beautiful. Just takes a minute. Yeah, show your beautiful face. Hi there. You smell the on chin, huh? I know, drive through. Okay, so that was a little boy. And I'm actually just going to mark him down as um, tiny, chunky boy. He's got a little fluffer underneath of him here. But he's the small one, so he's, he's just a little runt. But he's really traditional. No spots. No traditional spots at all. Really black face. No pinto spots. No pinto spots. Right. So he's just going to be our small, chunky boy. Huh. Look at that fluff on you. When a mama only nurses two babies, you can feel baby fat. When she nurses four to five, six babies, you they definitely feel a lot skinnier. They are lean. Yeah, for sure. So I feel like I've got a little some chunky babies here. It's got flutter on its nose. Look at it. 
That's a little boy because the girl has the pinto spots. That one that's that Ben's curious. showing on right there, um, that's going to be large traditional boy. Nice dark face. Super Beautiful dark. Markings. Yeah. Okay, so here is our little girl. Come here, pumpkin. Look at her hold on. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Looks like the little thing, looks like these. Right. These are our little <laughs> statues. Oh, and I'm glad you actually showed those. Oftentimes I'm doing these videos. Oh, I just spoke too loud. I want to go down. I have these little statues in our store and they're just adorable. Ben and I found them years ago in a um, ornate little craft store. And so we bought a bunch of them and we've had them for sale in our um, store here. But oftentimes somebody will say like, oh, I was watching your video and it looked like you had a hedgehog trying to get out of the cage. So point over at that one right there. Somebody was trying to get out of a cage. Yeah. Hedgehogs don't they're climb there. out of cages. They're That's there. not a common <laughs> thing. But um, so they see these little statues. If you're interested in a little statue, you just tell me and I can add it onto your order. They're $20. But um, since we've been doing adoption rooms via or adoption appointments via um, videos, we haven't really, I guess, talked about those before. So she's cute. She holds on to you real tight here, but she's definitely keeping her face covered. So she's a little bit more shy, but I've been gone for 10 days. So I haven't been able to like sit and hold her, handle her. Um, she'll open up as a baby. She's, uh, you know, personality is not defined until she's like four or five months old, but okay. All right. Let me have this one. This one is the bigger boy. This is the one that had the little flutter on his nose. You still do, so you good. goofball. There you go. Let me wipe it off. Okay. There. He's got real pretty face. Now, he's socially coming out of his um, bubble a, a lot more than the babies do. So he's been held enough. He got to go outside earlier today. He got to explore. So as they just get a hair older, they learn that um, people aren't so scary and so the little one, the little boy here, the little chunky little boy, he's still quite scared. And he'll get better in the next week, but um, this one's super friendly. Look at he kicks his own chin as he's trying to get out of his ball. Oh, he's holding his toes. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hi there. Cute. So he is um, traditional large boy. Yep. Birth date on the large ones is April 7th. And the two babies... Um, the two baby litters is April 21st. Okay, my husband just said wrap it up. We've got seven minutes already in this video and I got two more babies I gotta show. Okay, so I got two blonde boys, one traditional and one pinto. And so this one's got a little white stripe around its back. It's got a little white pinto stripe here on its side. Another little pinto on that side. Looks, looks like a... Starbucks Frappuccino. Right, exactly. These blondes are just beautiful to me. And so, and I know what you're saying. They're all beautiful to me, but they are. Look at, not a super light face. So he still has a little bit of a, you know, kind of matches. Hey, dude. Yeah. Tiny. He's just a little peanut. He does come from one of my smallest mamas. And I'd made it with a really small dad. So I think these little blondies will stay quite small compared to the other two next door. Um, they're half the size. So, which makes sense. The mom's quite different in size too. This one is traditional, traditional blondie. So I see no pinto spots at all. So these ones are going to be marked blondie pinto boy. And then um, traditional blondie traditional boy. Let's see if I can get a little picture of this one, too. By the way, if you're watching and you have to put in a supply order, we received everything in while we were out of town. So all wheel colors are in, all the soft beds are in, heaters are in. We have everything in stock, so we've been replenishing um, the inventory over the last month here. Hi, buddy. So, again, being, uh, you know, a week younger than the other ones here, week and a half younger, they just need a little bit of extra handling and holding to learn that people are safe and life is good. But hi, buddy. Oh yes. Anyways, thanks for watching.
if um if you are watching this video i know baby if you are watching this video and you're like going i want a hedgehog if you have a deposit down then i may text you to say it's your turn to pick but if you have not put a deposit down there is no possibility that you can get one of these babies i have a pretty long waiting list and i'm just going through the names one after another and so um there that's nobody in there anyways thanks for watching